In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can find the cheapest flights online no matter where you are going. I'm gonna show you my personal booking techniques and a super secret booking tool you probably haven't heard of yet, which potentially can save you hundreds to thousands of dollars on your next trip. My name is Mike. I'm a travel vlogger, YouTube and entrepreneur. And in the past few months, I've traveled to Bangkok, Bali, Cape Town, London, Munich, all over the world. Because we travel so much, I had developed a booking technique that saves us a ton of money every time we fly. In the past year, I've booked almost 100 flights online and I'm going to share all my tricks with you today. Not only am I going to show you how to book cheap economy or coach, but also how to get cheap business class and first class flights. Using the tricks I'm going to give you today, you're never going to overpay for a flight ever again. So if you're wanting to save money on airline tickets or you're trying to put together a luxury vacation, this video is for you. So before I get started with my booking tricks, I want to ask you to smash that thumbs up button for this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm a daily vlogger and together with my girlfriend, we travel the whole world. We're always on the go and we have fun, upbeat travel vlogs and daily vlogs. So be sure to check them out after this video and stay subscribed to my channel. There's a lot of fun content coming your way. So when talking about how to fly cheap, there are a few factors that you have to consider. One of them is where you're traveling from and where you're traveling to and how flexible flexible are you with the departure airport and the destination airport? The second thing is how flexible are you with the date of travel? The more flexibility, the easier it is to find cheap airline tickets. Another key factor in finding cheap flights is actually to find the best booking sites. But really the secret to cheap flights is combining all of those factors into one magic booking strategy. If you want to fly cheap, you got to be smart. So as I mentioned already, flexibility when booking airline tickets is one of the key factors in actually succeeding in finding the cheapest flights. That in turn means finding the best booking sites actually means finding the most flexible booking sites. There are some good options out there like flights.google.com or kayak.com. They let you enter three to five departure airports and three to five destination airports and you can be fairly flexible on the travel dates. But for what we are looking for, that's not good enough. Many of the booking sites don't actually show you all the airfares because some of the fares are so discounted that the booking site wouldn't get any commissions anymore. So now we found another secret to cheap airfare. Finding those fares that not even the booking sites have. Well, I stumbled upon a website that combines all those factors into one beautiful, beautiful packet. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. So the website I wanna show you guys is the ETA Software Matrix, which is actually powered by Google now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to matrix.etasoftware.com so this is the site that's going to come up and actually this whole website is pretty self-exploratory but i'm going to give you a quick overview so let's say i want to fly from miami to vienna i'll put in the departing airport which is miami and then the destination airport vienna now, I don't have a set travel date that I need to be in Vienna. Just for this example, let's take the 1st of May. So I'll go into outbound date, 1st of May, 2017. And I could say departure on this day only. So let's stick with that. And I want to fly back on, um, let's say, the 7th of May. Down here, I can pick for how many people. I'm just gonna leave it at one adult cabin the cheapest ticket available although i could choose premium economy business class or first class here now then i can define how many stops i should have on this travel the stops actually mean how many layovers are going to be on this trip i'm going to leave it at no limit so when i hit search the software takes a while because it's going through a ton of different flight routes and flight options if it takes two or three minutes just leave it be, it'll find the results. Don't try to refresh the page or anything because you'll lose the fears that you found so far. So here we have our first results. The cheapest flight it found was $1,025 with TAP Portugal, which flies from Miami to Vienna via Lisbon. I don't know, that's not too cheap. Usually I'm able to book business class for that price. For economy, I'm sure we can do better. So let's go and tweak our settings a little bit. Now I told you, the more flexibility you have, the cheaper your tickets are going to be. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to see what airports would be okay for me to depart from and which airports would be okay to fly to. The software actually has a great tool built right into it. If you go here and click on nearby next to Miami, you can see 
which airports are located in a vicinity of 75 miles. Now you can set that value to anything you want. I'm going to go to, let's say 200 miles. So right then it is showing me a ton of airports and I'm going to say um, Fort Lauderdale is okay for me. West Palm Beach is okay for me. Bahamas, not so much. Alternatively, you could just select all airports if you like. Let's give that a bash. So now you see it brought in all the airport codes right into this field here. Now let's go to the destination. So I know Vienna in general is a very expensive airport. So let's see what alternatives we have. Now because it's Europe, there are a ton of airports that you could fly to and the trip from that airport to Vienna is only going to be very short. Train fares are very cheap in, in Europe, so that's a good alternative. Now just to try this out, I'm going to say select all again and bring this into my search field. So now as I said, I'm fairly flexible on this trip. I don't have any set dates where I have to be anywhere. I can still plan ahead, which you should also do when you're planning a vacation. So I can say Instead of search exact dates, I want to see calendar of lowest fares. So when I click on this, I can say the earliest day I want to depart is May 1st. And I can define the length of stay. So I said I want to stay for 7 days, but I would be able to stay 7 to 10 days. So I put in 7 to 10. Again, it's going to be one adult flying. Cheapest available, no limit on the stops, and search this. Now this search is going to take substantially longer than the first search because now he's searching through thousands of routes and this might take up to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna grab an espresso and come back. Alrighty, that went faster than I thought. I didn't even have time to get my espresso. But now the computer has shown us a calendar of cheapest fares and look at that. Now we have a price of $612 versus $1,025. That's a 40%, that's a more than 40% uh, discount to the previous. So now I can just go click on this EFI and it will show me which airports it actually picked out for us. So now when I look at that in detail, the price went down even a little bit more. The cheapest price we have right now is $572. That's almost $500 cheaper than the regular fare that we found. Now the airport it's showing me is flying from Miami to FCO and FCO is actually the airport in Rome. Now Rome is just a little bit too far away. I think the train ride is somewhere between 6 and 7 hours. I'm not really going to want to travel that far away. So let's look at the other options it shows me. Right here I found the flight for $712 from Miami to Prague and Prague is just two hours away from Vienna so that's perfect so if I book this ticket I've saved a ton of money on this flight now let's say the airports that you picked are too far away you can also go back and modify your search a little bit you can delete the airports and define airports yourself so you can say I want to go Miami Fort Lauderdale Orlando and Tampa for example and um, destination airport I want Vienna, Munich, Salzburg, Prague and let's just go with that. We can increase the flexibility by a little bit just to get a cheaper flight still. So here he seems to have found the flight for $699 Let's see where that's from. Excellent. So this flight is from Miami to Prague and then back again from Prague to Miami. There are still a few options you can look into. There are different flight times, there are different stopovers, there are different airlines. Just pick whatever you like most or which is the most convenient for you and then you click on the price. Now this is going to bring up a page that has the summary of all the booking details, all the flight details, but you can't actually book your flight on this website. What you're going to have to do is either try and find the flight with these exact dates on flights.google.com or Kayak or Expedia. 
you could try going to your local travel agent and booking it with them or what you can do is I have another super cool tool it's a second website which is called bookwithmatrix.com the way this works is you take your fee code which is in here you just click anywhere on the website press command A or control A on a Windows computer copy everything you selected and paste it into this website now this is going to show you the whole flight itinerary and you can go and book this flight with Priceline directly so once you've done that you just put in all your details on the booking site book your flight and you know what for that money that you saved on that flight invest more in your hotel or invest in food or invest in good drinks or coffee I have a second video that goes more into detail on travel hacking things like fuel dumping check out that video it's how to fly business class cheap it's linked in the description down below and right up here I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out my vlogs check out my travel videos leave me a comment let me know if you have any other travel hacks or travel tricks that you want to share if there's any questions that you have don't be shy leave them in the comment section down below that's what it's there for thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye i'm gonna book myself the next flight here